on December 30 of 2019, this man, Dr. Li Wenliang, informed his friends and colleagues about the danger of a new virus that is similar to SARS, the outbreak who killed thousands of people around the world. When the warning of potential danger became public, the government punished and accused him of making false comments on the internet. After he and few more doctors were silent, they continued to fight and rescue the lives of people who were infected and victimized by the virus that was later on named as COVID-19. Even with a great threat from the virus and warning from the police, Dr. Lee continuously tried to warn the world. Until one day, while proudly performing his duty and attending to the needs of a patient, Dr. Lee became vulnerable against the virus. When he slowly experienced the symptoms, he immediately isolated himself away from his family, ensuring that he won't cause them harm. However, little did he know, his parents was already exposed and became infected from other people. Later on, Dr. Yu Chengbu, a Zhejiang medical expert sent to aid Wuhan city, told me that even though Dr. Li had a strong immune system, the patient that he attended to was directly connected to Wuhan Seafood Market, the source or place where the virus started. The level of infection that Dr. Li acquired while attending to his duty was so high that even having good immunity and knowledge as a doctor, he was still admitted on an intensive care unit. While in Wuhan Central Hospital, Dr. Li was quarantined and was tested many times until they confirmed that he is positive of coronavirus disease 2019. On February 6, while on the phone, he told his friend that he was having trouble breathing and that his oxygen saturation had dropped to 85%. And at around 7 p.m. that day, he was sent to the emergency room. They repeatedly used different methods and tried everything to keep him alive. But on the next day, February 7th of this year, 2.58 a.m., the hospital announced that Dr. Lee had died. Dr. Lee had a pregnant wife and one little child when he died. He prioritizes the safety of everyone. He warned the world about the virus and was silenced by the government. He, despite of the danger, righteously served as a doctor, a true hero. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification button for more videos.